Welcome back to another installment in New Zealand Bird of the Week, where today I will be talking about the White Heron, a bird that is well regarded and admired by the New Zealand people, but it is rarely seen except by those who specifically seek it out. Without a further ado, let's get into this. I hope you enjoy. The White Heron is a large white bird native to New Zealand, but it is also found in far more plentiful numbers across Australia and Asia, where they are generally referred to as Eastern Great Egret. White herons, like nearly all the members of its genus, possess long legs and a very long neck in proportion to its body. When breeding, the bird's long yellow bill turns a greyish black, and long filamentous plumes develop, ma mainly on the back of the bird. In flight, white herons tuck their heads back into their shoulders like other herons do, so that the length of their neck is hidden, giving it a hunched appearance. Important ways to differentiate between the white heron and other similar looking white egret species in New Zealand include the overall size, relative neck length, bill colour and shape, as well as how far the gape, i.e. the corner of the mouth, extends back in relation to the eye. The white heron is the largest, longest necked of the egrets, and the gape of the birds extends well behind the eye. White herons are most often seen in harbours and estuaries, but they also visit freshwater wetlands, including high country lakes and river systems, and are occasional vagrants to several outlying island groups, including the Chatham and Auckland Islands. The bird is also depicted on the $2 coin, which is also pretty cool. Unusually for the white heron, they only have one breeding site in the country, that being around the Okaritu Lake in Westland, with around 30 pairs breeding amongst the crowns of tree ferns overhanging the rivers of its breeding site, with a viewing hide at the site being available during the breeding season via a jet boat ride and a short walk, allowing bird watchers to get a great look at the birds during their most productive period. And yes, you heard that right. White herons in New Zealand only have one breeding site in the whole of New Zealand, and have not yet been recorded breeding elsewhere. Why this is is currently unknown, and is still one of the many mysteries of nature that we have yet to figure out the exact reasoning for. Because of this, the bird's population in New Zealand has always been limited, with the first record of their nesting site in 1865 only finding a population of between 50 and 60 birds. Things ended up taking a turn for the worst in the 1930s and 40s, however, as the bird's beautiful plumage in the mating season became fashionable in women's hats. In satisfying an increasing demand for the integument, the colony was nearly wiped out in its entirety, with only four nests being recorded in 1944. Very luckily for the population, steps were taken to protect the herons and their nesting site, and in 1949, the area was declared a flora and fauna nature reserve. The area is now administered by the Department of Conservation, where the population now numbers around 200, small, but not at the brink for the time being. Thank you for watching this instalment in New Zealand Bird of the Week, I really hope you enjoyed it. For next week, you now have the option to vote for the grey-headed mollyhawk, a very nice looking species of albatross that calls the country home. With that said, I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. More paleontology content will be coming shortly, I really need to get on to making more of that, considering there's only really been three videos on the topic. Anyways, I'll see you next time. See you later.